boys and girls. It's Miss Rainer. I'm going to read you a story about a shark. It's called Shark Trouble. It's written by Sam Lloyd and illustrated by Jack Tickle. Shark Trouble. Far, far away in the middle of the deep blue sea were two small islands. On Banana Island, there lived a little chimp named George. And on Coconut Island, there lived a little chimp named Jess. One day, George saw Jess and thought, wow, she looks friendly. And Jess saw George and thought, hey, he looks nice. And they both thought about how much fun it would be to share a banana milkshake and a piece of coconut cake. But there was a problem. In the deep blue sea, between the two islands, there were... Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy, the sharks sang when they saw the little chimps. Don't worry, shouted George to Jess. I have a plan. I'll make some wings from the leaves of my banana tree and fly across to visit you. George flapped and flapped his new wings. He jumped up and down but couldn't fly. Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy, the shark sang, snapping at George's little chimp toes. I've got an idea, shouted Jess to George excitedly. I'll tunnel deep under the sea and come to visit you. Jess dug and dug, but, but the sharks heard the digging noise. Yummy, yummy. Food for my tummy, the shark sang as they smashed and bashed their tunnel until it flooded. Never mind, called George. I've got another idea. Jess watched as George tied slippery banana peels to his hands and feet and started to ski surf across the water. Jess knew that this was the silliest idea so far, but before she could warn George, he fell in. Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy. George swam faster and faster. The sharks got closer and closer. George made it back to Banana, Banana Island just in time. That was a close one, called Jess. Jess soon thought of a brilliant plan. This will scare the sharks away, she shouted to George. With a mighty roar, she jumped out from behind the tree, waving her arms around. But the sharks were not in the least bit afraid. They found the crabby coconut costume very funny and laughed until their bellies ached. Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy. This is no good, thought the little chimps. We've tried every idea in our heads. We need to think of something new if we're ever going to share milkshakes and cake. They, blow, they both climbed up their trees. A very good place to go when you need to think. As the chimps climbed higher and higher, the trees began to bend. The higher they climbed, the more the trees bent and bent until, oh no, we'll be eating for sure. Then something amazing happened. Their treetops met and tangled tightly together to form a big leafy knot. Hooray! We're saved, cried George and Jess high above the horrible hungry sharks and they were together. Hi, George, said Jess. Hello, Jess, said George. To celebrate their new friendship, George and Jess had a party with music and dancing, and of course, lots of banana milkshakes and coconut cake. 